Hi, this is Jaime Regalado, the Executive Director of the Pat Brown Institute and Political Scientist at Cal State LA. And I'm happy to say a few words on behalf of Cesar Chavez, but more specifically on the anniversary of his celebration uh, this Thursday, the 31st of March. It's uh, with great pleasure that I have a chance to, uh, to say a couple of words about uh, this uh, civil rights icon, not only for the Latino community uh, in California and beyond, but also uh, for the nation. He really is that civil rights icon for the Latino and Hispanic community. Uh, a Boyle Heights kid of sorts, and uh, Cal State LA is very close to my birth community, which is also Boyle Heights. But Chavez got his start uh, being trained as a community organizer and in love with people, especially underserved uh, people, uh, in the community service organization building and complex in Boyle Heights in the 1940s and the 1950s. And he and Dolores Huerta, another leader of the United Farm Workers of America, uh, were both trained in community organizing by Saul Alinsky, an old-time organizer out of the Midwest who set up shop in Los Angeles among the downtrodden and underserved Latinos, African Americans, and to a certain extent Japanese Americans uh, living in the east side of LA. And from those humble origins, uh, not only did Chavez as well as Huerta uh, learn uh, more specifically how to organize uh, among Latinos, among uh, poor, economically poor, uh, constituents and communities, but also those who did not know how to fight City Hall, much less elect a City Council person, a person to City Hall, uh, which that coalition did, that Chavez was part of, and that Ed Royball was part of in the 1940s and 1950s. So learning his skill uh, locally, right next door to what would become and what was Cal State LA, what is Cal State LA, uh, Chavez went on to greater fame uh, in terms of launching the United Farm Workers of America uh, in the 1960s. Uh, Nonviolent was his movement, uh, was his protocol in terms of how he addressed uh, a vast array of problems and issues uh, confronting farm workers uh, in and beyond California. But he was also very smart and very strategic in how he employed tactics learned from Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Uh, to get his way and to mobilize other forces, other coalitions of support. And what we should remember Chavez for is not only launching the farm workers movement, in a sense, but also his collaboration skills and coalition building skills with others, whether they're Filipino Americans, whether they're African Americans, uh, Catholic and, and, uh, and Irish, uh, and uh, as well as Italian Americans who believed in the cause, and nowhere was that uh, more profoundly visited uh, as a nation and, and as in, in the world as in the great boycott of the late 1960s and 1970s. It became a cause celeb. Uh, he did, as well as the United Farm Workers movements, and more specifically their cause, a cause that he was very much uh, still with 30 and 40 years later as, until his untimely death uh, you know, a couple of decades ago. So Cesar Chavez is really a civil rights pioneer for the Latino community, but moving beyond the Latino community of Los Angeles, a civil rights pioneer for all communities of underserved and impoverished residents. And he will be remembered, and we're happy to celebrate his birthday and his memory on the 31st of March uh, this coming Thursday.